folks, Redneck Vapor here. Got another e-juice review for you today. Today I'm talking about two of the newer e-liquids by number one e-juice. Now they sent these over to me all the way from across the pond over in the UK. Um, according to their box it says uh, London on it. So uh, I got what they say is their two newest flavors to their line for number one e-juice we got devil's kiss and uh, juicy joy now these are 10 milliliter bottles they come in these nice little boxes got all kinds of information on them now they they've definitely got all their ducks in a row over there got these warning label thing type deals on there or symbols all the ingredients um, which are on this side that's all the ingredients got the nick level it's like a little sticker on the bottom I don't know if y'all can see that one six I got both of mine in six milligram they have them available in 0, 6, 12, and 18 milligram strengths uh, Juicy Joy and Devil's Kiss probably already said that but anyway Here's their bottles that come out of the box now. They got the same, I mean, all kinds of stuff on there. Uh, keep out of reach of children and got to be 18. I mean, this is just, I'm really impressed with the labeling of these as far as the information goes. Now, the label, you know, the designs, I got to be perfectly honest here. That looks, especially looking at the boxes, that looks kind of candy-ish. You know what I mean? That looks like that could kind of be appealing to a child. I, I don't know about y'all, but that's just my personal opinion. But other than that, the labeling and everything is really, really nice on these. Child-resistant caps. They've got the... Uh, needle tip type deal there they're the hard to squeeze but they're not the easy squeezy these are you really gotta put a bear down on that squeezed out but anyway let's talk about this a little bit more as far as their their website and stuff they they offer a lot more stuff on their website than just their own juice line they seem to be a you know a one-stop shop over there in the UK in my opinion just glancing at their website they've got e-cig kits mods and and other juices like Gemini vapors and I think they had the standard I'm, I'm not positive on that but they had you know other juice vendor companies from you know the US and you know it looked like a one-stop shop to me but anyway these are 70 PG 30 VG. They're five dollars and ten cents U.S. dollars for a 10 milliliter bottle, which is this size right here. And uh, other than that, the only other thing that I really noticed about it was the shipping. I'm I'm not really. We'll get into that here in a minute. Let's just go ahead and taste these. I did not. I do not have this ready to taste on camera for you, but I did try this one, and y'all know how I am. This is supposed to be a grape mint flavor, and y'all know how I am with minty flavors. I'm just not a fan of them, so there ain't no sense in me bashing this flavor by tasting it in front of y'all because, I'll be perfectly honest, it is not my cup of tea, but I did try it, and it's, it's like a candy purple grape very very slight with a very overpowering mint almost like a toothpaste mint but other than that I mean if that's your cup of tea give it a try if you want to you know what I'm saying but for me the devil's kiss not my cup of tea but if you like a, a minty grape and I mean really minty like peppermint mint mint not necessarily menthol but it's mint with a you know slight grape there you go 
Now my favorite of the two, of course, is going to be the Juicy Joy. Now this is supposed to be a peachy mango. Got it loaded up in this MIG SIG. It's probably about my third fill on it. Vapor production's, you know, pretty, pretty close to what it, you know, it's what it should be. Look at Sammy back there, done peeking in here. Anyway, vapor production is what is to be expected for a 70% PG liquid. I mean, it's, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's blowing out vapor. Well, you just have to be in camera, don't you? You just got to be on camera. That dog, he's, he's got to make an appearance. He was in my last video, too. Now he's hiding. Anyway, throat hit. This, this liquid has a really good throat hit. I mean, for a six, I'm definitely getting one. I mean, it's not harsh or anything like that, but I'm getting one. Okay, flavor. I'm getting candyish peach, mostly. It's mostly what I'm getting as a candyish peach flavor with just the hints of the mango in the background. Comes together really nicely, in my opinion. Yep. So, of these two flavors, I'd have to say that the Juicy Joy is definitely the one I like the best. Especially since I don't like mint stuff. I don't know why. How many times I got to keep telling y'all I'm not a big mint fan. But Anywho, um, I'll leave the link down yonder where y'all can check them out. Um, thank you, number one E-Juice, for sending these to me. The only other thing I got to really talk about, about it is uh, for us that live here in the States, it's a little steep on the shipping. Now, I know that, that international shipping is expensive. But me personally, I wouldn't order, or I'm not going to order from them just because of the fact that the shipping is pretty high and there are vendors closer to me that I can, you know, order from. But that's just my personal opinion. If you live in the UK and you're close, the shipping cost may not be that bad. I mean, for example, I was looking on here to get free shipping to the states to the united states you would have to order over 45 pounds which converts over to approximately 76 77 us dollars it's an awful lot of a lot of you know that's pretty expensive to have to order to get free shipping but if the, if you find something on their site that's really nice and you get up to that price go for it but that's the only, that's the only negative thing i can really say about this company and that's just because I live in the United States. If you live in the UK, these prices may be perfect for you. Like I said, I don't live in that economy over there. I don't know, you know, I don't know. But other than that, the juices, they definitely, what they say they are, and I don't get any perfumey taste or anything like that. So if you're close by and you don't mind paying or whatever you want to say, I'll leave a link down yonder. Y'all can go check them out. Number one e-juice. Anywho, like always, folks, this is Redneck Vapor. Y'all keep on vaping. I'll see you next time.